Dear Joshua, Your father and I love you very much. While he doesn't always show it, your father is very proud of you. The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. Do not be afraid. The main character is Josh. He's an Amish teenager and he's just come out to his parents. So for his rum springa, he decided to visit the city and sort of experience what the gay life is like inside the city. So uh, he's going there to meet um, another boy that he met back at home that told him about this and is trying to re-find him and reconnect with him. Hi, uh, I'm Joshua. Hi, Joshua. I'm looking for a guy named Austin. I was wondering if any of you know him? Mm, nope. Sorry, don't think so. Okay. Thanks. Uh, so I play Josh in the film. Um, as Miles said, he is a, um, he's an Amish teenager uh, who is really coming to terms with who he is, with his identity. Uh, it's really in, it was an interesting character to play because uh, essentially, I know we had talked about his transition from Joshua to Josh and how even just in the, like the idea of his name being shifted, uh, his re really his character is his, his sense of identity or his view of the world I think shifts throughout the film. Um, it, it was really interesting to explore for me. I watched a lot of documentaries about, uh, about the Amish community and the Mennonite communities and and I, I started to kind of explore what it would be like for someone who really had no kind of concept of this uh, thing that was so truthful inside of him, uh, but yet he had no kind of landscape for it or he had no role models. He, he didn't grow up watching TV, of course, uh, so there wasn't any kind of outside influence. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, let's have some fun, okay? <laughs> It originally started as like a school production, uh, so for our final year of college we had to put together a short film, so me and my friend worked on the script together. We took his original idea, sort of changed it and morphed it into what it was, and then we did the prep for that for three months, shot it in four days, and then spent the next two months like editing, putting it together. So this was sort of like my first attempt at doing like a dramatic piece. Before now I had mostly done like short form comedies, so taking like the drastic shift from like two minute funnies to like 10 minute serious times was like <laughs> kind of a fun change for me. I grew up in this, in this town and, and Kingston actually played a huge part in my uh, development as an actor. I, I, uh, I started acting when I was about five years old. Uh, theater five, Domino Theater, uh, of course the Grand Theater as well. Um, and I think what's so fantastic about theater training specifically, uh, and especially in a, in a city that's very theater driven, um, is it teaches you as an actor uh, like discipline and how to really create a character. There's something about being accountable to an audience on a stage that you have to truthfully become that character. And I think I'm very grateful that I was that I first did theater, I was able to transition into film because I, I don't think the, the reverse works as well. I think people, actors who just start in the, f in the film uh, business, it's much more challenging to understand how to navigate a, a theater and an audience, a theater full of uh, audience members. So yeah, but Kingston holds a place in my heart, my hometown. You ready in there? So I think it's important to have like a film festival that's like specifically for queer films to sort of give those kind of filmmakers a voice because if it's just sort of like a general film festival where everybody can submit that voice doesn't really have a chance to sort of like stand out and grow on its own it has to sort of like compete with sort of like a non-specific theme but if we build like that community together of like queer filmmakers it gives them a place to like sort of focus their talent and sort of grow as a community it also gives people sort of like that safe space to explore the ideas that um, a non-queer community might not understand in the same way and sort of like sharing stories with people who have like gone through the same thing can be really useful not just as like a filmmaker but to like somebody personally. I mean Amish dancing. Don't dance. Well, you can set the standard down. <laughs> <laughs> 